and and this is to show you how we can update the quote and editor directly from an excel spreadsheet and this is without having to make any changes to the excel spreadsheet in terms of changing the columns or the formatting you can use an excel spreadsheet that has formulas macros multiple tabs colors bold etc it can also have many other columns of information which is not required in cpq so in short you can use an excel spreadsheet that you've been using for years within your organization to manage your products and create a preliminary code and then simply drag and drop that into the uh, code and you will see all of the items appear in the code line ed editor with the line items with the groups and all of the details so here is an example of an excel file that we see quite often at various clients a user may come up with a code in excel um, they may use various tabs to arrive at it so here is where they keep track of all of the software line items hardware items maybe some consumables some services some support some miscellaneous items there may be some instructions that tell you exactly how to put this code together there might be some formulas and instructions but any which way they have a lot of organizational knowledge and logic and macros and formulas that may or may not make sense to replicate all of that in cpq but one way or another they arrive at this total quote line items in this case as an example there are various different products in different categories that they're going to sell or quote to this customer and we are going to go ahead and see how easy it is for them to bring it into cpq so what they simply do is they do not have to make any changes to the cp to the excel sheet they can retain the excel sheet the formatting the colors they may also have some columns which have nothing to do with cpq but this is this can be retained and we will see that all they do is they come to the windows explorer and they simply drag and drop this file onto the code so here's a code and there are no code line items as you can see right now and what the user would do is they would go and pick up the code that excel file drag and drop it into the code it is very quickly parsed by our software and then we have deliberately made this as a separate step import quote lines this is where it is actually creating the quote line items in the quote line object what it is also doing is it is mapping each and every one of those columns into the specific fields into the quote line and i will show you how that mapping occurs how the system figures it out it is also going to go ahead and look at all of those different categories software hardware miscellaneous consumables and it has created all of those groups and it has grouped all of these items into those groups and now from here on the user can do the editing and changes right here so the purpose of what we are seeing is primarily to make it easy for a user to use that exists existing excel sheet without making any formatting changes without having to get rid of any tabs without having to export it to csv and simply drag and drop that file and bring and populate the code so that they can quickly then work on it further so now we will see what had to be done in the background to make all of this happen there's only one simple change that the user makes onto the excel sheet and that is this as you can see i had hidden this one row and this row can continue to be hidden so we only add one row at the very top where we map the api name of this field where this information is to go the order of the columns does not matter all ma all that matters is that the api name is there and in places where the api name is not there this information will not be copied over so it's really as simple as that this allows the user to maintain all of the information which is relevant to CPQ, which is not relevant to CPQ, and all of the supporting information right here without having to give up any of the organizational knowledge. And we only help by putting in this API names and we take care of everything else in the background, including, for example, in this case, making sure all of the groups get created properly because it is mapped to the group. 
We also automatically load the file that was used for uploading into the files related list. This way that is a historical reference point of what was the supporting Excel sheet that was used to load the initial items. Of course, once they are loaded, they may change, the user may add, delete, add discounts, remove discounts, etc. But again, the goal of this tool that you are seeing is to enable the user to use their existing Excel sheet to quickly upload and create their items the way they would like to do it and then from that point onwards continue to use the cpq code line editor and its various capabilities to make any further changes thank you